Africa Rise. Third Africa Rise Congress. Expectations of the International Rice Research Institute Director General, Dr. Robert Ziegler. You know, as Director General of the International Rice Research Institute, uh, it gives me great pleasure to be participating in the uh, Third uh, uh, Africa Rice Congress uh, that will be held in, in Cameroon later this year in 2013. Uh, personally, I have a, a commitment to Africa. I started out my career in, in what is now the Congo. Uh, very early in my career, I also spent a few years working in Burundi. So I have a personal stake in, in, in African agricultural development. And it's only fitting that this Rice Congress be something that uh, is, is quite important for me personally and also, also scientifically. Uh, scientifically, uh, it's very clear that research on rice in Africa is critical to the development of the rice economy in Africa. The development of the rice economy in Africa is critical to the overall development of African economies and certainly the rural economy. Uh, it's without a doubt that research will contribute to that. A community of, re of researchers is required for research to make a contribution. Each little country on its own will not make a difference substantially coming together in a research community that is part of the global research community within the Global Rice Science Partnership is critical to making the kind of impact that's needed. Now when we look at uh, the theme of the, uh, the Congress, it is, it's directed towards uh, uh, smallholder uh, agriculture, it's directed towards food security, it's directed towards entrepreneurship uh, and, 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 and the business climate. And I believe, and certainly the work at Erie and Africa Rice uh, is, is going along this line, that smallholder agriculture, uh, for it to remain attractive, to be a livelihood for people, has to offer a decent life. For it to offer a decent life, small farmers will have to make a decent income. And there is no way the small farmers will make a decent income on subsistence agriculture. They have to move into the commercial sector. And that means, whether some people like to say it or not, small farmers are business people. The men and women who work those fields are selling their crop, they want a profit, they want a decent income. And so I think it's incumbent upon us to recognize that the betterment of the livelihoods of the smallholders in Africa or in Asia or Latin America, anywhere, depends upon their being integrated into the business community, into the um, the value chain, and that they participate in that and get a fair share. And I think it's very, very important and something I'm really looking forward to uh, in the Congress, a uh, very explicit addressing of how we connect the smallholder to the overall economic business community, uh, the value chain uh, from the rural rice paddy to the urban markets. If the farmer does not participate in that value proposition, there is little hope that Africa will be supporting itself in terms of rice. It must be worth the while of the smallholder. I firmly believe that it is possible to make the lives of smallholders sufficiently attractive so that they don't take up the alternative to go to the big city and end up selling cigarettes on a street corner. I don't think that, to me, that that is the alternative to agriculture is one of the great failings of 20th century development. I think we can do better in the 21st century, and I think the African Rice Congress is certainly very much a step in the right direction, and the selection of that theme is absolutely uh, the right theme to be addressing at this time. And so I congratulate the organizers of the Congress for formulating a, uh, a theme that is absolutely uh, the theme that should be addressed now, and I look forward to seeing the, the program develop in more detail. And just as a, a small aside, 
considering that uh, Africa Rice uh, Director General, uh, Dr. Papasek, is an agricultural economist and understands the relationships between markets, the rural economy, and livelihoods, and agriculture, it's not really a big surprise that we have such a, a, a great uh, concept as the theme for this year's Congress. So I look forward to seeing uh, uh, many of you who are watching this, uh, this uh, brief video at the Congress, and I'm sure there'll be a fantastic cross-fertilization of ideas among all the participants from the around, around the world. So I'll see you in Yaoundé. For more information on the Congress, visit www.africarise.org/aorc2013.